Well, Venezuela is heavily dependent on the US for its oil revenue. But what impact will this have? Our reporter now, Alberto de Filippis, joins us in the studio from our Italian language service. Now, Alberto, thanks for joining us, Alberto de Filippis. You spent a lot of time in Venezuela yourself. You were in the north and the south. And in fact, just three weeks ago, you were there as well. So it's great to have you here with us this morning on Good Morning Europe. Tell us first about the Italian community in Venezuela who've been seriously affected by the whole situation. We are the third uh, international or uh, foreign community after Spaniards and Portuguese. And the real problem is that many Italians are, uh, stri are trying to go back to Italy, but they are stuck there because uh, they don't have any money and uh, they are paid in Bolivares. Just in order to make an example, this is a pen that we can buy whatever we want. Well, this is the money you need to buy this pen. And this is more than half than a minimum wage, which is 400, uh, 4,500 uh, bolivares. So this uh, is worth nothing. And many people are coming back to Italy and they are desperate because uh, uh, the Italian government doesn't consider them as Italians, so to speak. They have a passport, but they don't have any money and they just uh, uh, strive to, to survive, so to speak, in their own country of origin strive to survive and you mentioned the Italian community, the Spaniards and the Portuguese and later in the programme we'll have a report actually on the Portuguese that are leaving Venezuela but for now what impact do you think these sanctions, the US sanctions will put on Nicolas Maduro? Will they have any effect? <sighs> It's very interesting because uh, PDVSA is uh, the, real, uh, um, uh, the real possibility to uh, keep Maduro in power. But there is another problem and another paradox, if you want. In the US, uh, it exists something called Sitgo, which is a company which belongs for the half of its... Uh, uh, I mean, it's a refinery which belongs to PDVSA and uh, which uh, uh, also belongs to a Russian company called Rosneft. They have a refinery in Corpus Christie in uh, Texas, for instance, and uh, it's like uh, US are giving money to uh, Venezuelan government uh, through this company. So they should probably uh, make sanctions, impose sanctions on PDVSA, but also on CITGO, which has also a lot of oil stations uh, throughout the country. And it's a paradox that we are seeing in this moment.